Welcome to The Attendant by Poolside Tech. In this video, we're going to show you the software side of configuring a brand new system. To get us started, we have already made the physical wiring connections to The Attendant, and we will be building a pool that matches the diagram shown on the screen. After you have unboxed, mounted, and made all the physical connections to the attendant, we can power on the unit. After a brief boot up period, you will be presented with the Let's Get Started screen. Tap the button to move to the next step. Before we can configure the system, we need to make sure we have an internet connection to the attendant. On this screen, you can configure your Wi-Fi or wired connection. Once you are connected, Tap the next button. Here you'll be presented with a short code that you will need to enter into the mobile app in order to continue the setup process. Let's switch over to the mobile app now and add a new site. To do that, you use the hamburger menu, tap sites, and tap the add button. Let's enter the short code and some details for this new site. Once we are completed, we will land back on the site selection screen with our new site selected. Press the back button in the top left corner to return to the main screen and we will see a prompt to set up your pool. Tapping the button will start an interview process that asks you for some details about your pool so it can configure the pool using common configurations. Don't worry. You can always change the configuration if it's not quite right once the interview is complete. The interview process will ask you a series of questions about the pool, its equipment, and your energy rates. In behind the scenes, the attendant will create the necessary flows and equipment to facilitate your answers to its questions. Once the interview is completed, you will automatically enter installer mode so you can finish the configuration. On the site tab, you can see the interview process automatically created the bodies of water and water features based on your answers to the questions. Tapping on any one of these items will allow you to refine the details associated with it. To finish the pool configuration, we will need to review the Devices tab and correct any problems we find there. Here you can see several devices that have a red badge attached to them, signifying they need additional information. Here I will set up the pump as a single speed pump on high voltage relay number 5 and add all the information for all the remaining devices. Once we have completed setting up the equipment, it's a good idea to save the configuration so we don't lose any of our work. Tap the Save button in the top right-hand corner to save this configuration to the cloud and to your device. Because a filter schedule has not yet been created, the attendant will ask us if we would like to create one. We will say no to this for now. Now that we are done configuring our devices, let's navigate to the Flows tab where we can add another flow to facilitate additional power to the jets in the spa. When adding a new flow, the attendant will prompt you to choose a pump or create a new one if one isn't available on the device list. Let's create a new one here. Items are added to flows using the plus buttons inside the visual flow designer. When adding items, you are given the opportunity to create new equipment and features or reuse equipment and features that you may have already created. Let's create a simple flow that adds additional water flow to the existing spa jets and hooks into the existing blower, which we will need to remove from the first flow, which the attendant created for us. Removing an item from the flow is as simple as tapping on the device and then tapping the remove button in the top right hand corner. Once you have saved this flow locally using the Save button in the top right corner of the Visual Flow Designer, you can save this configuration to the attendant hardware 
by tapping the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen again. When the download is completed, you will receive a confirmation that the device has received it. From here we can exit installer mode as the pool configuration is now complete. As you can see, we have new controls available to us now in the mobile app for both the pool and the spa. And if we switch over to the local user interface, we also have the same controls available there. Thanks for joining me as we looked at setting up a new pool using the attendance interview process, and I hope you have a great day.